Good evening, everybody. Varda here, bringing you the second episode of Age of Sigmar Stormground. In the last episode, we got used to our units and what they could do, and uh, although we narrowly avoided getting wiped in the first fight, came back with a strong second battle, and were about to enter in to the third. Now, I must apologise, because I did have some audio issues and you should be able to hear now in the background that they have been resolved. I'm not entirely sure what happened but when I got the recording and listened to it I realized that the game sounds even though the software on Streamlabs told me they were recording had not come through so unfortunately that's not something I can fix now. So we'll just have to enjoy the game sounds starting in this episode. So, we chose the route on the eastern battlements, and now we are going to enter the Storm Vault in search of Word Weir's seal. Potent treasures sleep within the Storm Vault beneath, sealed behind eldritch locks. Unlatch the locks of the vault so we may open the way into the inner vault. And I'm assuming that if we get into the inner vault, we'll get some nice stuff. Now, this is the first two-skull difficulty mission we will be attempting, so let's go ahead and give it a go. At the end of the last episode, we did sort out our troops with everything they could possibly need. I'm not sure why my leader is glowing. Maybe my leader just always glows, and they are fancy like that. So... Let's get into the mission and see what we can do. Igneous! It has been too long since we last fought side by side. Oh, we got a wizard. Indeed. I require your aid, young Freya. This is the entrance to a storm vault, an ancient repository of forbidden relics and lore. See those mechanisms? If we activate them, we can gain access to the vaults for ourselves. Okay, so we have a Lord Arcanum with us. Aware of the storm vault. We must defend it from them. Pressure plate. Simply occupy the pressure plate's hex with your units to trigger them. Once the pressure plate is triggered, it is triggered permanently. Enemies can trigger them for you in the same way. Try luring them with your unit placement. Okay. Well, I guess... I don't really want to flood the mage forwards. We can activate this pressure plate. And then I think I'll end my turn. Okay. So, it's worth noting that Mermorn Banshees are not particularly pleasant. They do an awful lot of damage to whatever hits them. However, I'm willing to take one point of damage to kill the Mermorn Banshees and then, on top of that, deal two damage and knock back the Chain Rouse Horde behind them, which is what this indicator is showing, that I will be knocked off the pressure plate this way and they will be knocked backwards one hexagon each while the Mermorn Banshees are slain. So we're going to take a little bit of damage for a much bigger reward. And I'm going to send the Lord Arcanum towards the chest to make sure we grab as much loot as possible. And then end my turn. So there's going to be a little bit of poke damage. Actually no, these are the melee chain rasps, not the ranged ones, which is to our advantage. Ooh, what do I summon? I think I summon the Castigators. I think I put them here. And I think I move Freya up here. I don't think I actually need to use the special ability, so I won't. What's the range? The range is... Four. 
knockback unit and summon a fire hazard where they land. If hex is unoccupied, summon target on target hex instead. Unsilenceable dispel. Hmm. Alright, well, he's a wizard, so I'm gonna go and grab the chest with him. And I'll use him a bit more when we get more spells. Alrighty, we got the free cards there. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And I am going to end my turn. Looks like the Chain Rasps really wanted to die. And now it is our turn. Okay, so I'm going to summon in the Prosecutors at the back, mainly just because they can fly and activate some pressure plates. I'm not too worried about them doing anything else. The Castigators can advance a little bit, and I am going to come and close ranks with the wizard as well. I will move Freya forwards, so that she creates a bit of a buffer, and then we will watch what enemies they have to send at us. Okay, well... Interesting. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Freya here. And I'm going to one-shot them. Take one point of damage and get knocked back. In return... For killing the Mermorn Banshees. We're not going to send this wizard in. I'm going to send him around the flanks in the hopes that he can distract the Banshees a little bit. And then we're going to end our turn. Looks like the Banshees didn't fall for the bait. There was a little bit of a ranged attack there from the Blade Geist Revenant. But that's not the end of the world. We need to make sure we trigger some of these pressure plates. So, I think what I'm going to do is move forwards. I'm going to bait these guys into attacking me. And then I'm going to use my Castigators. Ah, this didn't go as swimmingly as I wanted it to. But I'm going to use my Castigators to mark that area there. We're going to start moving towards this pressure plate here. And we're going to move to this pressure plate here. Can I Etheric Slam? Hmm, it kind of makes the overwatch worthless, but I think I'm going to do it just for the guaranteed kill. Ooh, it looks like more enemies are about to spawn. So... Uh, it looks like I have to end my turn. The enemies are going to spawn in. Well, I suppose I'm going to have to hit that unit. I'm going to activate this pressure plate here. And this will actually put me onto that pressure plate even though I get knocked back. So I think the plan is to kill the Banshees. Let them do damage to the ranged unit. And that will activate another one of the pressure plates for me. Spirit Storm, we will then use on the Dreadblade Harrows to do some damage. And if that then leaves, it will die. So all in all, I'm feeling pretty good about that turn. We are going to take a little bit of range damage. 
but I'm not too, too worried about that. Looks like they're going to focus down the hero, which is totally fine with me. And then what I think we can actually do is force that um, to move with this slam. Okay, it didn't do what I thought it did, but it created a fire hazard, so it should force it to move next turn. Can you get in range? You can't get in range, but I'm actually going to move you forwards anyway. You're going to charge, get rid of one of the ranged threats to us, and you're going to move forwards. and then drop the indirect attack on that unit there, in case it decides not to move. Hopefully then, at the end of this turn, I will be able to grab the law cache and activate the final two pressure plates all at once. Beautiful, look at that. So now, what I can do is walk over the pressure plate with them and grab that. And walk over the pressure plate here to win the mission. Well done. The vault is ours and the seals are broken. Let us venture deeper, young Freya. Well, Igneous, we will have to just come with you, won't we? Well done, team. A glorious victory for the Stormcast. We got a Resilient Sword, another Prosecutor Unit card. We got one Miracle to revive a unit. We got one Fortitude for plus one health, and we got one Armored Sword. Interesting. Less health, but more armor. We also got the Fireside Laments, and the Gash Returned, and the Scryings of the Smoke Seer. Very nice. Alrighty, well, we got some mo more experience there. That's looking pretty good. You can tell what tends to do the bulk of the damage when I play. Although I don't think we actually summoned them in this time, did we? No, we didn't. Okay. So, that's that. I guess we will have to make a choice now. Whether we go to slay the commander of the disgraced knightly order or we go to the chain loft or we go into the depths of the storm vault i think the chain loft interests i mean okay yeah they're the same rewards for either hmm this has greater rewards but i'm not sure we'd be able to do it and i don't want to just throw this run away so, hmm, I'm going to go for the chain loft, I think. I think that is the play. Okay, let's select the chain loft. Let's do it. And, oh, do I want the castigators back or do I want the prosecutors? I think I want the prosecutors, to be honest. I'm not, yeah... I'm not entirely sure. We'll add a little bit of tribute XP. I'm not sure if adding it to my Lord is the correct play, but it feels good. This gives me one health, that gives me one armor. I'm gonna try switching it out this turn. Because I think because this has, it's not great for them, but because it has the extra health, I'm going to give it to them just to make them a little bit tankier. Uh, but yes, I think armor could be more useful than health long term, because having free armor increases the chance I get an armor save to negate damage entirely. Uh, so that's where I'm going with that. Anyway, let us begin. I don't think there's anything else. 
we really need to look at no just a bunch of weapons although actually before we go in I think I am going to get rid of the Warhammer of Rending for some EXP and wait did I change your armor by accident you should be wearing the Drake Swarm mantle you are okay I'm going to assume that I just have an extra bit of it. Okay, anyway, I'm going to stop fiddling around in the menus now. We are going to go to war. Okay, so it looks like destroying the soul prism defeats all the enemies. So, I'm going to spawn in over here. By Sigma, I, will I have not arrived. This soul theft to go on any longer. These spirits should be at peace, not imprisoned and forced to plague the living. Well, strong words. It is your false god who would steal these souls. All souls rightfully belong to mighty Black Ash, including yours. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, okay, I'm going to move forwards here. And then end the turn. By the power of this soul prison, my souls and I will reform to assail you endlessly. Endlessly. Unworthy. You are no guardian. You renew yourself by feasting on trapped spirits. I will shatter your soul prison and end this injustice! I mean, that has a lot of health. I don't actually have any four-cost units, which is a problem, because I'm on my own now until... I have a 49% chance of blocking all damage. It didn't happen. Okay. That's fine. I mean, there's not a lot I can do here until I get more units in. I need some cheaper units, really. But hey, Freya equips herself most wonderfully. And even heals when charged, so she's a pretty good frontline tank to have up there. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to spawn my hunters in on the side. I'm going to move in here. And then I will challenge these to get them off the battlefield. I should heal to full now because I was charged. That's really strong, that ability. At least it feels it. Now, I don't want to focus on the units too much because they will just come back to life. But I need some time to get my other units onto the battlefield and into a position where they can be useful so I'm not gonna worry too much right now once I've got more troops onto the field I think that's when I'm gonna start trying to hard focus hmm I think maybe we do a bit of shooting Looks like I can't get round to damage that unit, so I am going to... Let us press on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. We're close enough to the thing. I think the AI will focus us. Oh. Okay. Ow. I 
I mean, that is a very strong soul prison. That has a lot of health that I need to deal with. I am a little bit worried about the number of um, things it might bring back to life, but right now... Oh, okay, we lost the unit of castigators. We have a miracle though, we can bring our good unit back. Yeah, and then I think we're just gonna... I mean, we're just gonna have to commit as much damage as possible. Wait, did it miss? No, it didn't miss. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna have to commit as much damage as possible to this soul kid. And just... Pray that we can do enough. Okay, I think I should kill this this turn, which is why I've backed all the way off. Um, I will liberate the realm. Free damage. Let us press on. Another free damage. You can do damage, lovely. And another free. Alright, it has four health left. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That should get rid of that unit. The end. Not while the spirits within the soul prison sustain me. Well, they're not going to be sustaining you for much longer. I hate to break this to you, buddy, but I'm literally just about to destroy it. <laughs> no, my soul. All right. My poor lost souls. Well, now they shall wander in darkness for eternity. That wasn't too bad. I have freed them from your dark will. Now, Sigma willing, they shall rest. All right, nice. Well, we did lose a unit of castigators, but we have a miracle available to bring them back. Fly and teleport game second nature. Another unit of vanguard hunters. Okay. Common Sigmarite, Sigmarite Warblade. And a decent amount of EXP for some units there. And now we have Open the Storm Vault, the Ebon Sepulchre. And it looks like we're actually going up against the Maggotkin for the first time. And it's a one-star difficulty mission. Well, I think that that's a bit of a no-brainer, but we will do that in the next episode. Thank you for watching episode 2 of my storm ground playthrough i hope you've enjoyed it as much as i have if you have please hit that thumbs up button and leave any feedback for me in the comments below good night